Enough prelude into the game. Alright, we really are will. just after the mines. It'll take a little bit to get back into the swing of things. But we're at the friendly arm in, so I figure now's as good a time as any just to drop off at the store and dump off our loot. You'll get to kind of be reacquainted with the characters, the equipment, the setup they have. Yeah, I'm sorry, it'll take about probably at least an episode before we um before we actually brush the dust off and uh, kick off the rust. You gather your party Which I think I got that backwards. You brush the rust off and kick off the dust, but whatever. You gather your party before venturing Friendly Armin is kind of a you neutral ground. It's a great place as any to just kind of congregate and reevaluate your situation in the game. Not much has changed here since we last left. People are probably a little happier. Arr, look at these forks and tankards. This iron shortage shows no mercy on us drunkards and culinaries. But but we saved the... Oh, forget it, whatever. Is there any way I can help you? Yes, ram your eyeball into this blade to see if it be cursed with the metal weakness. To our near mind, they'll just kick me out of this place and send me amongst the very brigands who might covet the rotten tankard. Me rotten tankard, yeah. Alright, people are still complaining about the iron. It's good to know we have had absolutely no impact whatsoever My on the lands. The Hi, Bentley Mirror Shade. We need a room. Tonight you dream oh, of blood. Cool. Not of blood on a blade or the blood on your hands, but an ichor that runs as a torrent through the realms. A flood that pours across the fields and forests. An ocean that floats you to the world's edge and threatens to cascade off into the void. Okay, I think we've already um I think we've already read that dream actually, so I'm just gonna end it there. But what a great way to get right back on track as to uh, remembering what's going on. Uh, we're having dreams of creepy things, and our dreams don't like us and all that. Alright, so let's check out what we got here. Haste? Haste? Why haven't I memorized that? Ghoul touch, potion of explosions, definitely want that. Um, that's the scroll or something about Cloakwood, whatever. Potion of Frost Giant, not a big fan. Ice resistance, also not a big fan. Oh, what have we got here? Master Thievery? <sighs> You know, we could use it in certain situations, but I just I I like to rely more on my thieves my thieves stats than than a potion. I guess we'll hold on to it. Safana isn't that great, so we may need it. A lot of stuff we can't sell. A lot of more stuff that we're not going to sell. Laurel's tear necklace. Okay, this confused me so much the first time I played the game because generally when an item has a name attached to it. it means you have to give it to an NPC but I don't think it's the case with this one I hope it's not the case with this one let's just sell it 3,000 gold we'll definitely take it moon bar gem diamond bunch of scrolls that are probably cursed to no end potion of explosions also do want that <clears throat> Horror scrolls. All right. Wait, did I load the right save file? Let me just make sure we're on the right. We found a letter amongst Davron's personal. Yeah, okay. So we're on the right. We're on the right save file. That would be terrible if we did a couple episodes and then it was like, oh yeah, by the way, you gotta go to the bandit camp. Yeah, because we got this key. We did drown the mines again. We saved all the slaves. I guess we just really don't need any of this anymore. Just dump it in the middle of Bentley's Inn. I doubt he'll care. Let's check out some of these robes. What does Chesney have right now? Old Ches Meister. Alright, Ches. Do you already... Do you already got some stuff written here? Okay, I guess you do. <clears throat> yep. Okay, most of these are, like, useless. Shield, Grease, Stinking Cloud... Can old Eldoth learn? He might be able to. Who knows? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. That's right. First episode back, we're going to play the Manage the Inventory game. Maybe in your spellbook, not in your spellbook. Oh, well, this is all good then. So long as, so long as they're not going to waste and somebody can use them. What is this, haste? We definitely want this. 
We definitely want that. I don't remember if we had it in our previous playthrough, but dear word, I've been going through this playthrough with no level 3 spells. And it's been driving me crazy. Actually, real quick, I guess we should... I really should have done this right off the bat. Alright, so here's our cast. We already know the characters' names, but we uh, let's just take a real quick look at stats here. Yezlik, obviously, uh, with our full plate plus one and the gauntlets of dexterity. Large shield, mace, eh. I, think, I don't even think he's proficient in the mace. I think I just slapped it on him. Yeah, we need to get him a warhammer soon. <clears throat> Koran, the fighter thief. We did throw him a longsword plus one, but that's not by design. Also, his weapons were breaking. Yeah, he's proficient in the two-handed sword. We need to get him a two-handed sword. He does have that Ankeg armor, which did not come from Thunderhammer Smithy, dude. It came from the magical Ankeg producing uh, farm fields from Nashkel. Uh, Eldoth with our chainmail plus one, plus some bracers. The bracers are actually just for when he throws off that chainmail to cast his spells. You see those bracers actually do help him out there. <clears throat> uh, Safana with our unidentified leather armor plus two. Not really, uh, we don't really have her set up very much different at all. Oh, in fact, we need to go buy her, buy her that shadow leather armor, don't we? We don't have it. And then, of course, Faldorn, who apparently is just incapable of equipping chainmail, even though she's a druid. Or, druids can equip chainmail. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a, a strength requisite. That's right. Clerics can, but not druids. So we have to give her that leather armor. So it's a good thing we had it lying around. Um, not a big fan of the club, honestly. Like, I've, I've already complained about clubs before. Uh, you do, you can see there, she does have a club proficiency. She also has a spear proficiency and a sling. We should really get her a sling and a spear plus one, if those even exist in this game. And good old Chez with his traveler's robe. We haven't found the robe of the neutral arch magi yet. No, 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 I did make him chaotic neutral. Okay, um, I thought I had made him true neutral. It's good to see that I kept him the same same uh, alignment there. Alright, so let's just, you can see here the stats are pretty much the same, although I think I did bump up my strength a little with that extra, with the extra um, few points that I managed to roll on his character. Strength of 10, dexterity 18, con of 10, intelligence 18. Why does he only have 17 wisdom? Well, that's, that's odd. I thought I gave him 18 wisdom. That wasn't by design if I did it like that. He should have had 18 wisdom, but oh well, I guess life goes on. It's not anything he has equipped, is it? No. Probably not. Well, at any rate, uh, we I'm sure we can find a book somewhere that will raise his wisdom. It's not the real reason I wanted to give him some wisdom there was just to give him some extra lore. Uh, in case I didn't have a thief, of course, honestly, Eldoth lore is, like, blowing mine away right there, so, uh, comparatively to 50 to 35. And then, of course, the extra, uh, th saving throws for the magic is nice. A couple magic spells are wisdom-based, but everything else is generally the same. We got our spells, of course, for every character. Not a whole lot of difference, other than, like I said, we're just, we're really not up to date. We're not quite up to date I on think our we all spell books, a pat on the back. and what are not you? up to date on, for slow business lately. on what was I gonna say? You need on only gold. ask. Be Love glad to. Stuff like that. All right. Well, where to begin? We could go straight to Baldur's Gate. We're a little under equipped right now. Um, we could do it. There's no doubt that we could do it, but we kind of will. probably want to get... We probably want to get some people with uh, weapons that they can actually use. And I don't know why I just left the inn, because we needed to get Foundor and a you sling. Must gather your party before venturing forth. A sling and possibly a spear. I'm a fan of the spear. The only advantage I can see to using Rangel's a club will would be that be you done. could use, obviously, a shield with it. But I don't know if that's really My something we need her to, her to have. Themselves. She's going to be in the back for the most part, and is pretty much going to be our buffer slash spellcaster. More often than not, and healer on the fly, but 
We'll give her that. We'll give her that spear anyway. Plus, I guess clubs don't break. But then again, I don't think spears do either. Yeah, what is this nonsense? Probably should have bought a few more bullets. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Chess could use some. Does this guy sell throwing darts? If he has throwing darts, we definitely need some of those too. Yeah, because Safana really just consumes those with no, with reckless abandon. With no qualms about running out like 10 minutes into a dungeon.